this lecture we will discuss about the metal degaussing process so you can say that it is a process of producing uh, work is by removing unwanted material from a uh, work is known as the metal degaussing process means uh, if we are saying that if you have a work is and if we have to provide a desired shape in that work material so we have to remove the unwanted uh, Uh, chips uh, unwanted material from the workpiece, and after some time it will be getting the desired shape that we that we found for our purpose. We know that we have to remove the process. We have to do what we have to do. We have to remove the process. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. पर्टिकुलर uh, शेप में प्रोवाइड करता है उसमें हम मशीनिंग करेंगे और उसमें बहुत सारे ऑपरेशन हमने जैसे पढ़ा था जैसे कि लेथ में हमने टर्निंग नर्लिंग फेसिंग बोर्डिंग ट्रेनिंग ये सब जो प्रोसेस हम पढ़ते हैं उसके थ्रू हम अपने बर्ड पीस के ऊपर डिजायर्ड शेप या फिर जो भी आपको रिक्वायर्ड है वो प्रोवाइड uh, प्रोवाइड करते हैं शेप को तो हम इस प्रोसेस को मेटर रिमूवल प्रोसेस करते हैं जिसमें कि हम अनवांटेड मटेरियल को रिमूव करते हैं ठीक है सो इट इज दिस प्रोसेस इज ब्रॉडली अडॉप्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रीजन टू गेट हायर सरफेस फिनिश सेकंड वन इज टू अचीव क्लोज टॉलरेंस टू गेट कॉम्प्लेक्स ज्योमेट्री शेप एंड टू समाइम इट मे बी इकोनॉमिकल टू प्रोड्यूस अ कंपोनेंट बाय मशीनिंग प्रोसेस दीज आर द प्रोसेस दैट इज ब्रॉडली अडॉप्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ फॉलोइंग रीजन so for getting the high surface finish it is very very important of thing surface finish and close tolerance it should be fulfill the concept of the form fit and function means what agar hamara object agar particularly wo uh, finish nahi hoga usme bana hua nahi rahega to wo fit nahi hoga aur wo fit nahi hoga to aapka wo work nahi karega isliye we have to provide the concept of uh, form fit and function according to the dimension it should be manufactured then only it will be work so uh, it should be maintain the high surface finish it should be close to ordens it uh, to get the complex geometry shape and sometimes it may be economical to produce a component by machining process so it is a family next it is a family uh, of shaping operation uh, the the common feature of which removal of the the common feature of which uh, uh, is a removal of material from a starting bird piece so the remaining part has to be desired shape because of the multiple operations we have to provide the desired shape on an object in the machining process so we can say that it is a family of shaping operation means we are providing the shape on the object the common feature of which is removal of the material from a starting bird piece so the remaining part has a desired shape so there are the various process we can say that machining process abrasive process and uh, non traditional process so in machining machining process we can uh, we have to remove the material by sharp cutting tool like uh, turning milling and drilling sharp cutting tool you can take the example of single point cutting tool with the help of single point cutting tool you can provide the shape on your work piece so you can take the example of turning milling and drilling similarly the next process is a abrasive process in that we have to remove the material by the hard abrasive particles hard abrasive particles you can take the example of grinding and the next one is the non traditional process in that various energy forms other than sharp cutting tool to remove the material so it is the example of the uh, non traditional process in which we are using the various energies Uh, to convert uh, the object in the required shape and next one is the we have to produce a desired shape by removing the segment from a, from an initial oversized piece if you have to if you have the bigger size of the element so we have to remove the uh, big amount of the material from that work piece and it will be getting the desired shape okay often been referred to a machining तो so, हमें हमेशा मशीनिंग के लिए रेफर करना है इसको दीज आर द फैमिली ऑफ शेपिंग ऑपरेशंस मशीनिंग एब्रेसिव प्रोसेस 
then no traditional process produces a desired shape by removing segments from an initial oversized piece and open often been referred to as a machining now what about the limitations what about the limitations so next topic is the limitations so we can say that in limitation we can say that uh, the removal process we can say that the removal process inevitably uh, waste material and generally require more energy money more energy than money and labor than forming and safe process therefore they should be avoided whenever it possible isme hame jo removal process hota hai isme hame uh, big amount mein badi matra mein hamara material waste hota hai hai na and generally required isme zyada energy ki avashyakta hoti hai एंड मनी ज्यादा वेस्ट होता है लेबर कॉस्ट ज्यादा लगता है उसको फॉर्म करने में उसको सेफ प्रोवाइड करने में दी आर द वेरियस लिमिटेशन फॉर द मेटर रिमोल प्रोसेस देयर फॉर दिस शुड बी अवॉइड वेन एवर इज पॉसिबल हमें इसको अवॉइड करना पड़ता है हमेशा एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज दस कैरिट आउट फ्लो परली मेटेरियल रिमोल प्रोसेस कैन हैव एडवर्स अफेक्ट ऑन द सर्फेस क्वालिटी एंड प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द वर्किंग मेटेरियल मीन्स इट विल अफेक्ट द property of the work material so it should be avoided normally uh, the material removal process should be avoided normally uh, and it should be carried out properly now we can class classify the material removal process uh, for machining and uh, so the material removal process material removal process use a metal cutting tool that that move related to the work piece and remove metal chip from it means metal process uh, use in metal cutting tool hum is metal cutting tool ka use karte hain aur wo work piece pe upar move karta hai relatively aur usme jo chip ke form mein aapka jo object hai wo uh, cut cut karta hai aur uh, uh, chip ke form mein wo nikalta hai to is tarike se hum isko classify kar sakte hain usko hum define kar sakte hain while holding the cutting tool would be able to remove metal from a work piece in order to generate the required job of given size configured and finish means aapne dekha tha lathe lathe machine mein aapne jo operations dekha hoga usme cutting tool ko move karte hain work piece ke upar to usme kya hota hai ki wo metal ke upar se jo object ke upar se chip ke form mein material ko remove karta hai aur wo aapka desired shape mein convert hota hai this is this is the main purpose of the material removal process and machines so we can classify the metal removal process by three methods three types first one is the first one is the conventional machining second one is the abrasive machining process and third one is the normal traditional process so in that in that machining in that machining we can say that uh, in the machining process Yeah, conventional machining it is a traditional tooling machine in which we are providing the desired shape with the help of a, a cutting tool and that was earlier using uh, now in the machining process in the abrasive process uh, material removal by hard abrasive particles that means you are doing the grinding process and next one is the non traditional process in that various energy forms other than various energy forms other than sharp cutting to remove the material here we are using the uh, various types of the energy method to uh, other than the sharp cutting tool uh, to remove the material and now further we can see that the conventional tool can be classified into uh, turning and deleting related operation then uh, drilling and deleted operation then next one is the milling operation and after that uh, it is the other than uh, machining operation further the abrasive process can be categorized into grinding operation and uh, other than abrasive process and the non traditional process can be can be categorized into machining mechanical energy process uh, electrochemical process thermal energy process and uh, chemical machining process so it can be converted to energy forms and we can provide the required shape so in conversion to the pool will be direct contact with the workpiece okay 
it is the turning and related operation drilling welding and other machine operations this the tool and workpiece will directly con in contact between two each other and uh, next one is the abrasive process we can say that it is the grinding process and other abrasive process in this uh, in the grinding process the uh, cutting tool and the workpiece will be directly contact to each other next one is the next one is the non traditional process in this uh, mechanical energy process electrochemical process thermal energy process and chemical machining process so these are the four process in which the we can move the material and provide the desired shape so these are the these are called the non traditional machining process so i can easily class we can easily classify the material removal process into three types if we are remind revising the topic conventional machining process abrasive process non traditional machining process and further the conventional machining process will be categorized into the turning and related operation drilling and related operation milling other milling process machining process further the abrasive process will be categorized into two types first one is the grinding process and other abrasive process so in all the processes the cutting tool will be directly in contact with each other with the workpiece and the next one is the non traditional process means we are providing the desired shape in the object with the help of the mechanical energy process electrochemical process thermal energy process and chemical machining process so in the further classes and further topic we will discuss about the these types with these processes in detail and uh, in the machine tool we can remove the uh, 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 best material from the workpiece and provide the desired shape so you can see from this figure uh, cutting tool is moving on an object and uh, and it will give the desired shape it will be it may be facing step turning knurling body and so is tarike se hum apne object ko us particular desired form mein convert karte hain so these are the content of the today's lecture i hope that you all have understood the content next next class we will continue with the next topic is the single point cutting tool